Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to KT Garage. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make a really nice custom LED light. In this application, we're gonna do a tail light. And you, as you can see that this, this is a fully custom truck and everything on this truck is, is custom. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a custom tail light for it. I'm gonna show you step by step on how to do it. So if you have something custom that you wanna work on, you can use this process. It's really, really simple. And I'll show you guys step by step on how to get that done. So what you see back here is the custom tail light I was talking about. So this is a frame out of metal. And for you guys, you know, you, you can do whatever uh, that you do with your project. It doesn't have to be metal. It could be fiberglass or whatever it is. So I cut a window on it. And for this particular application, I want to make it like a C8 Corvette tail light. So you can see that this is shape, shape of C8. Now, after putting the cutout in, I went inside and I put a see-through plexi class. And so I glued it in from the inside. So you can see this is a see-through. Now I'll show you guys the back real quick. Let me zoom in a little bit. So when you look back there, you see the cutout and you can see there's mounting tabs like all that all those are mounting tabs that i'm gonna uh, mount another piece out back to get the leds on it and then just mount it on there so basically in the back it's more like a housing okay so let's go through how how the led lights gonna work so these are coal dialed and you can get a kit like this right from Amazon. This is a five millimeter kit. And these are just like all the other LED lights. You you hit it up with a voltage and it lit up. Now the only tricky part is you need to know how much it's consumed in voltage. So for instance, the red one consumed two volts to 2.2 volts. And then as you go up on the color, like the blue one will take three and so on. So each one of these will take two volts. Well, I'm, I'm doing red, so I'm, I'm only, only going to be concerned about two volts. So, and what you need to do is you need to hook this in series. So that means that your positive is going to go to the negative of the next one. And then you hook it up in a chain. So every one of these will consume two volts and you add them up uh, to whatever volt you, you need. So for a typical vehicle's 12 volt system, the truck that I'm working on is a 24 volt. But guess what? It makes no difference because you can do your, your own calculations. And as you can see, in this little note that I put down, okay, so I'm using red, so it's, it's two volts. And my system is 24 volt, and it's two volt each. I divide it by two, I get 12. So, which means that I'm gonna have to connect those dials, 12 of those in series to get the 24 volt capacity. So when you hit it with the 24 volt, it doesn't burn up your bulb. So that's all it is. So you just like tie all this up in series. And I'm gonna show you exactly how it gets done on my application. It's just so for you to get an understanding of how the system works. So I have two lights on the one side. So I have brake and signal light and I have running light and tail light. So I want the running light and the tail light to be dimmer then the brake and the signal light. So you see what I did here was, even though it's ready at two volts, I want to feed it with 1.5 volt. So that means it's going to be dimmer than the two volt because 1.5 is less. So I take 24 divided by 1.5, I got 16. So for me to get 24 volt rating, I need to have 16 of these red ones hook up in series instead of 12. So I'm adding four more, just so I can make the lights dimmer. And that's all it is, it's, it's super easy. So, so that's the, the electrical part of it. Now, let me give you a quick demonstration. So, what you see here is a plexiglass. This one is not see-through, it's black, and it's reflective. So I bought this right, right from Amazon, it's a one by one foot plate and it's, it's fairly inexpensive. So what I did was I, I traced to see what my housings look like 
and I'll show you this. I just like, very simple. I just use a template, just a paper template, and I trace it. I, I went into the truck and I trace. It, it wasn't broken before. It was just like that. You know, I, I, I trace it. I found out where the mounting points are. And then after tracing it, I got to that. Now, the viewable space is a little bit less than my housing. So I just draw a center line. That's where I'm going to put the LEDs on each side of the center line. So I want to make sure that, that you can see all the LEDs. So now this is quite large. So I add up the distance and it's 11 inches. So I, I can actually do 24 instead of 12. So I'm going to have to hook up 12 of these in series and then stop there. I hook up another 12 of these in series, stop there. I'm going to hook two of these together in parallel so I don't uh, mess up the voltage. So for every 24 of these, I can, I can do uh, a parallel instead of series. So you take one of these. And what I did was I drilled two holes. I'll show you can see. Here we go. So with a very small bit, I drilled two holes. And you can just push them through just like that. And th these are really nice. You know, you, you can push them right through. And then in the back of it, it's going to look... It's gonna look like this right here. Let's see if I can get a good shot of it. There we go. So this, you're gonna bend it over to hook up to the next one. So you're gonna hook up a positive to the negative on the next one. And then you keep continue to hook them up in series, just like your Christmas light. And and, and then after that, then you, you can hook them up. So anyway, so that's the quick, demonstration of how I'm gonna do the LED board and I, I'm, I'm just using Plexi class for a board instead of buying the, the the normal circuit board those are a lot more expensive so I can just make my own and do my own shape so what I'm gonna do next is I'll go and cut this Plexi class and then drill this mounting holes and then I'm gonna start mounting the LEDs and then get them all soldered in. Oh, I'll, I'll show you guys step by step how to get that done. So first I'm gonna cut this outside lines so I can mount it into the housing when I'm done. The best way to cut this plexiglass is using a jigsaw that looks like this. And just make sure you use the proper blade for it. They do make one for plexiglass. If you don't use it, it's going to get like heat up and, and, and all the material just get fused all together. So make sure you get the right blade and it, it's going to go real smoothly. I want to show you guys how it gets done. So here it is, doesn't look too bad at all. Okay, so you can see that I already peel off the protective cover and it looks really, really nice.
and it's reflective and it's totally blacked out so lights won't come through so at this point i'm going to start to load these Okay, so one thing that I want to go over with you guys, so the LED dial, uh, directional, so you need to know which size positive and which, which size negative because if you hook it up the wrong way, it's not going to work. So the, as you can see here, there's one short and one long lead. So the short lead is negative. The long lead is positive. So you gotta hook it up just like that in order, in order for, for it to work. And let's say if you wanna put two things in series, this is how you're gonna do this. So you're gonna, you're gonna hook up the positive to the negative of the next one, sorry. So let me see if I get this right. So there you go. Uh, it doesn't want to stick. Okay, so that's it. So you see what I did here? I take the negative on this side and I hook it to the positive on that side because that's the long lead, that's the short lead. So now I'm, I'm having these two in series. So that's the positive, that's the negative. So let's say if you hook up power to this lead and this lead, you're gonna have a four volts radi uh, ratings because you have two volts on each one of these. And when you hook it up in series like that, you got four volts. And then if you want to add another one, and then you keep hooking it up in a chain to to increase your, your voltage. And if I have 12 of these, I got 24 volts. Okay, so the next step is to solder the wires together. So, to solder these, you have to heat up the leads first before you solder them, otherwise it's not gonna stick. So you basically heat it up and then feed the solder to it and then it should stick. Yeah, you see it stick together already. I'm gonna feed it just a little bit more. Yeah, you see that's heating up and then you just walk it back and forward and now you have a real nice solder connection so i'm gonna go ahead and get all this done okay so there are 12 of these dials and they're two volts each so we're looking at a 24 volt setup right here so i'm going to test it to see if it actually works with me hooking up things up in series. So I'm going to go up in the, in the truck. Well, actually, I just reached up here and tap into a 24. This is the directional, so i got to be careful. So this is a negative. So negative goes here. And then we'll do positive on this side. Oh, yeah. Check it out. Very nice. Okay, so these are working. So I, I'm, I'm gonna do 12 at, at a time to hook them up in series. So there'll be another 12 here, and then those will be in series. And then another 12 down here, 12 here. So the, there's four different circuits, and those four is gonna hook up in parallel. So I can hook up to a single source of 24 volts, and this whole thing is gonna lit up and each one of these will have two volts. Okay, so the board is done. I just wanna go over this with you guys real quick before I get on onto the truck. So basically there's four circuits on here and each one of those will handle a 24 volts. So there's a total of 48 bulbs altogether because I used 12 of those for one circuit to hook them up in series. 
just like a Christmas light. You, you guys think about it. Christmas light is the same thing here. I'm hooking things up in series. And so I start out with a negative over here. So the negative will, will hook up to the positive of the next bolt. And then you just hook them and change. You can see how I stepped moving forward. So everything is in series. And then when it gets over here, if you have an open one here, negative, that means that the open one over here is positive. So I start with a negative on both sides and on both rows, advance towards the center of the board. So that means that you join four of these positive together. And this is how I solder this wire to this four positive leads. And you can't really see the solder because I, I put the hot glue on top. I just want everything to stay where they are. This is really good. It, it sticks really, really well. So, so that's there. And then I hot glue these as well, just to make them, make sure that they don't move and, and cause a short. So yeah, that, that, that's it. And then, so since I have two negative leads on each side, I'm gonna have to tie them together into a single ground. So this is gonna go to the ground. This go to a 24 volt set up and then I should be good. And then on this side of the board, you see how clean it looks. And these are all secure. The, the, after you solder these connection, th these are like rock solid. Uh, they 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 like don't move at all because it's all like tied together. All right, guys. So I I got the entire two rolls hooked up. Now I'm gonna run some tests to see if it actually works before I get it back there. Wow, very nice. Look like everything is lit up. So I got the the assembly into the truck and you see the board fitted perfectly. For some reason one of my my bolt doesn't fit, so I'm gonna have to, to get a tap and tap that out, but all my other ones are fitting just fine. For right now, just for testing, I'm just gonna ground the negative right into this bolt that I bolt to the chassis, so it should have good grounding. And then this right here, I'm just gonna put it to the signal light so where this one go. Okay, so this one right here is a positive. I'm gonna just hook it up to this. This is the signal light right here. So I'm just gonna hook it up for right now and see if my lights are working. So after the lights is working, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a real nice and neat connection here. But for right now, just wanna approve concept to see if this whole thing's working. Check this out. It's working perfectly. You can see that all the dials are lit up real nicely. So from a distance, you should see a really nice pattern. So this whole thing's working. I got one done. I got three to go. Two on that side and then this one should be good. Love it. Well, I hope that the video is helpful for you guys. As it turns out, doing LED lights is, is not hard at all. It's, it's super simple and it's very straightforward. You, you can see that I, this is actually the first time that I'm doing it. I, I do some reading about it and I try for the first time and it worked out perfectly. So you can do the same, just make sure that you do your math and, and just get your series and parallel connect, connection worked out. It should be very straightforward. Now, if you have any questions, comments, please, you know, put it in the comment section and, and I will answer it. Any questions at all, just please don't hesitate to contact me. It should be a very straightforward installation, but in returns, you get a really nice customized LED, and not, not much work to it. I appreciate you guys tuning in to KT Garage. If you like the content, please like and subscribe. Thank you.